Hey everyone, this is David at Finish Line Factory, and today I'm with Nick, and uh, we're going to drive his Focus RS to uh, Supercar, no, Curated, uh, for their Supercar event. They're having a Cars and Coffee style event, and uh, we're going to be talking about the car, what it can do, and uh, whether or not you actually need any of the cars, because this car has 345 horsepower, 2.3 liter, uh, four-cylinder turbo engine, uh, same engine as my EcoBoost, and it's got a rear doors, hatchback, I mean, do you really need any other car? So let's, let's check it out. Okay. Go. Uh, where's right. the gas station? Um, where, wherever we go, it'll show up on here. Okay. Um, so right now you're in normal mode, and then the e-brake is on. Okay. The auto start stop is still turned on, so if you take your foot off the clutch and you're in neutral at a stoplight, it'll okay. shut the car off. So I usually turn that off. And then I always drive in sport mode because normal mode is boring mode. Right. Oh, look, what do you know? Hey, there's a gas station right here. We get the navigation on. Now we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful oh. wizard of horsepower. All right. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to change the drive mode okay. to sport mode. Okay. And then I'm going to turn the auto start stop off. Okay. And then you can keep traction control on or you can turn it off. I usually just turn it off because it makes corners a little bit more fun. <laughs> so uh, if you have navigation with Sync 3, do you have um, voice control for navigation too? Honestly, I don't even know. I've never tried it. I usually just use Waze on my phone because Waze is amazing. Please say a command. Navigate to 2022 Northwest First Court. I didn't get that. Find an address. In Florida, please say the street address including the city. To search in another state, say change state. 2022 Northwest First Court, Miami, Florida 33127. I didn't get that. <laughs> 2022 Northwest First Court, Miami, Florida. Please say a house number between 5100 and 5. Never mind. Alright, I see how it no is. No match found. <laughs> what would it you had like it to right change? there. Cancel. <laughs> Fuck it. Go away. Shut up, Ford lady. I'll do it my damn self. Alright, we gotta get a 95. And also perks of sport mode, you get lots of pops. Okay. Let's see. So, uh, what kind of events have you done with this car? Um, I took it to Palm Beach International. Raceway for the street racing made safe. I did a few, okay. a few of the drag runs there. Um, nothing really too impressive because they don't hand out slips. It's just kind of like they just flash your times and then it goes away and you don't get any records of it. But um, yeah, mo most autocross events are like that. They just flash your time. Yeah. But the times will should be recorded and they'll be posted on a, on a wall. Yeah. I uh, what well, I was doing the drag race and then I also right. went to. A, an autocross event there as well and then that that was a lot of fun this car is amazing I had uh, there was about 130 cars there and I got 12th overall really? and it was my first time ever doing like an autocross event so I, I could probably get um, a little bit higher with more experience on the track and then I, I, uh, I signed it up for the stock class and I got fifth for nice. the for the stock stock class uh, that was that was pretty cool the car is super capable just throw it, throw it in track mode and then, and then nice have you played around with a uh, drift mode yet no i haven't no the uh i'd like to one of these days on a, on a wet day i'd like to mess around with that but these tires are pretty expensive it's running with the pilot super sports the michelins right and then 
hundred and eighty bucks a piece. Oh jeez. Holy crap, that sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Man, always put a smile on your face. Oh yeah, <laughs> fucking love that. <laughs> like you don't even. Um, like like that, that's the car doesn't feel that much faster than the Mustang. Yeah. Like, acceleration wise, but uh, just in how it just the, the smile it puts on your face when uh, the turbo spools up, you, you go and then you shift, it, it backfires like that. Yeah. And that's straight from the factory. That Ford does that with Sport and track mode. Oh, nice. And it's it's awesome. And it just sounds a lot better because it's got the muffler delete on there. And then it's got those sweet-ass Brembo's for slowing down. Oh, yeah. Have you upgraded the pads yet? Not yet. Stock, it's got the same brake pads on there. I, I need to upgrade the pads. Yeah, stock Brembo's are awesome, but when they're in OEM installation, the it always sucks. Like the the, the pads they give you, because yeah. they give you these uh, these street pads. Make sure I'm going the right direction. <laughs> yeah, we're good. It's actually time to get into the express lane. I don't think we need to do that. Battery on the GoPro died. Rest in peace, battery. Alright, we're good. Just toss this back there. Woo! So did you want to do the launch control? Sure, how does that work? Alright, so we're gonna go over here on your settings. Right. Scroll down to settings. Alright, now it's gonna be under the driver assist. Oh. What are you doing, guy? Oh, anyway, um, yeah, driver assist, and then launch control. So you're going to put it in first gear, uh, make sure your e-brake e is off. Does it say LC on there? Yes. All right, there we go. So now you're going to foot on the clutch, wide open throttle, all the way down. Now, whenever you're ready to go, just release the clutch, and it'll go. Okay. It's a lot of fun. Get your, get your, get your heart moving. Wow, open. seriously. <laughs> yeah, it, this car is really impressive. Ford did a really, really good job with it, especially being stock tuned and like minimal mods. It's a really, really good car. Totally worth it. And you can pick up one of these. Base price back in 2016 when they first came out was 35.6, which is a really good deal for this kind of performance. Oh yeah, and I think they had like just a few options on it, like a couple of things. Yeah, I have the RS2 package with right. the the blue paint and the upgraded wheels, um, with the nav and the sat nav and all that. Right. And my sticker was 41 41.6. That's how I would option it. Yeah. I like I like to buy cars fully loaded. I know it's terrible from like a value proposition, but man, I, I just love having all the little bells and whistles. Yeah, and I don't really ever plan on trading this car in for anything else. This is my dream car, and it's and it's amazing that it's just so affordable. And you know what? Let's let's go back to that question. Is this the only car you need? You know what? It's it's yeah. Like if you want a sports car, here it is. If you want something you're having fun on the weekend, here it is. You want something for uh, taking the kids out? Here it is. Yeah. Um, and, and the hatch has pretty good room. I have a, a Great Pyrenees dog. 
because right. he weighs about 135 pounds. I just put the back seats down and he had a comfortable ride from here to Mobile and back for uh, when we evacuated for Hurricane Irma. Right. So it got a little dirty and hairy, but you know, a little quick detail and it's good to go. And gotta love all wheel drive. Yeah. Especially, this on, car has, especially, especially on those launches like that. Oh yeah, and this car has torque vectoring all-wheel drive, so yeah. I think it'll actually like send the power left to right, not just uh, front and back. Yeah, it can send 70% of the total torque to one wheel in hard cornering, which is pretty intense. Damn. If, if there were any curves in Florida, you, you would see what I was talking about. Yeah, unfortunately all we have is straight lines, but you know, you gotta work with what you got. <laughs> Uh, and, and like a, referring back to the autocross course, um, it was a um, over at the Palm Beach. Um, they have the professional go kart tracks, and that's where they do the autocross on. So it's right. a bunch of super tight turns. I, I I didn't even take it out a second, and it was hooking those corners like crazy. Like you you would feel like you you would slip, but no, it just keeps hooking and hooking and gripping. Yeah, and then that's how you have to. I mean, you've got to learn how to approach the limit. Yeah. But it just gives you so much confidence yeah. that you can throw it into a corner and not have to worry about whether or not it's going to start slipping or going off into the into the gravel or something. Yeah. It's just going to stick. It makes you feel like a, a better driver than you actually are. Because yeah. the car is, is that, that well designed. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I know that... You know, people people say this all the time, like, oh, well, the car is driving itself. <laughs> and the thing is, it's, no, it's not. No. The car, you're doing the driving. You're still choosing you know, the line. You're still choosing uh, where to accelerate and brake. Um, this car doesn't instantly make you a pro. You know, say, people say the same thing about the GTR and the Audi R8 or any other car with all-wheel drive. Uh -huh. um, the car doesn't make you the pro. It'll help it. Uh, in certain situations, especially with uh, acceleration, uh, maybe finding the best uh, traction under under power, uh, but it doesn't suddenly make mean that you're going to be able to take corners at 100 miles an hour right. when most cars can only do 50. Yeah, you know, uh, it just means that accelerating out of that corner, you can probably get on the gas sooner, and you'll have better grip. Yeah. Turn around in traffic, no big deal, just put it in third. Yeah, right. <laughs> So when you were choosing this car, did you want to choose between possibly like a Golf R or STI? Because um, those are similar cars. Yes, they are very similar cars. They are uh, the direct competitor for this car and then the Type R right. as soon as it, when it came out. But um, I, I wasn't thinking about getting that any of those because my first car ever was a, Ford, a 2002 Focus CX-5 right. and then I drove that. By, by the time I learned to drive to 2014 when I traded it in for a 2014 Focus ST. And then when I totaled, I, I ended up getting, getting into a car accident and totaled the car and I just went straight into the Focus RS. So it was, I've, I've been a Focus guy since since I the, uh, so, so you were, wanted to get you off were, on 8th Street. Okay, uh, 3B? Okay. Yes, 3B. So you were, you were, you were with the Focus guys. You were a Focus guy before being a Focus guy was cool. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I didn't really start getting into cars too much until right. I got into my ST. Right. And then I saw, felt the capabilities of the ST. And then I just fell in love with the Focus platform. Okay, turn left here. So, and then going from the ST to the, to the RS was a a pretty smooth transition for me and it's also a no-brainer especially with the color that it comes in the nitrous blue is so gorgeous oh yeah and and that color even before I knew it was gonna be a car was my favorite color just that that bright bright blue oh hold on let's roll down all the windows oh yeah and then because under the bridges it, it sounds so good <laughs> This is just 
it's so much fun. It's it's a it's really a, do you, a do you, big. Do you kid's measure your car. do you measure your smiles per gallon too? Yes, smiles per gallon. I, I mean, that's why I have. A, that's why I have the speed on there instead of seeing the miles per gallon because I don't really care because it's all about the smiles per gallon. Oh yeah. Let's drop the window so we can look cool. We can look cool. I guess we'll park them next to the skyline. Sweet. Oh, well, in front of the skyline. Hey, this car's imported too. Yeah. Turn you off.